Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Boy, am I risking my drone's life. I'm gonna have to start putting money aside to get a new drone because a couple of days ago I flew it in 60 kilometer hour gusts, and today I flew it in 40 kilometer hour gusts. Um, really, really risking it all. But nonetheless, um, work is continuing at Canada's Wonderland. So right here on the screen in front of me, you can see Moosehorn Falls. So Canada's Wonderland is currently doing the utility work on Moosehorn Falls. Um, so right now they laid down a lot of the electrical. You can see it, it goes from the pump house to the main electrical unit, and then it heads all the way over towards Moosehorn. Um, they're done laying down the electrical work. So now they are pouring concrete and cement on top of it um, to cover it all up. So that was really cool to see on screen. Um, but yeah, that's all in terms of Moosehorn. Um, you really don't get to understand, uh, and this is including me, not you guys, but like how much work goes into building a new attraction. So a lot of like, you know, like a lot of utility work before they even start construction on the actual ride. Um, over here at Front Gate, very interesting. They are really clearing house at Front Gate. And you're going to start seeing this over the next couple of weeks. Um, so they now have an entirely large fence that surrounds the front gate area, so you can no longer get close to it. If you look really closely, it's hard to see, you know, a, a gray thing, but you can see it. It's there. Um, and they are clearing out the security booths and the security fencing. No sign of the Canada's Wonderland logo coming down yet. If that logo comes down, if that logo comes down... I am ready to predict a full front gate reno. But right now, it looks like they are just doing under the Leviathan area. But I am ready to make some pretty hardcore predictions on the front gate area as a whole. I think I'm going to save that for the podcast. Um, but I, I can already see what they're doing. So I have a really good idea of what the front gate area is going to look like now. Um, so I'm going to drop a really good rendering and what exactly each of these things are. Um, so there is going to be some new tech. I can confirm that. Really excited about that tech too. There's a new mobile app launching for Canada's Wonderland any day now. So expect that. Some of you should already be getting your notifications to reset your passwords um, to get ready for the new mobile app. So keep checking the app store for that update. We will be getting that new app. So really excited about that. Over here, they're removing the Christmas lights off these trees. Um, now, I don't want to make a hardcore prediction because I'm not quite sure. I can't fully confirm if Wonderland takes down and re-puts up all the Christmas lights every season. I've never paid attention to that, but from what I've been told, they do not take the Christmas lights down and re-put them up, but I can't confirm that. So take that with a grain of salt. If that's not the case and they do not take them down, then I think I see where our new prestige seating area is going to go. I think it's going to go in the old orbiter plot of land. So over at Wild Beast, a lot of you have been asking, is Wild Beast going to get its refurb? Well, I don't think there's retracking yet scheduled for Wild Beast because if you go back and look, there was snow covering the entire track. And I'm scaling back over to Mindbuster to show you guys how we know which section of Mindbuster they're working on. So Mindbuster's covered in snow, all of Wild Beast is covered in snow, but this double down um, is swept off. It's cleared because that is that is because there's work going on it. So I just wanted to show you guys that in detail. Um, so for those of you that were like, well, is Wild Beast getting retracking? Have you seen anything? Well, no, from the drone, I can tell nothing's going on over there quite yet. Um, there is work going on inside the front gate building. So uh, on that drone, you can see the garage doors open into the front gate building itself, where you would normally buy your tickets and season passes at front gate. I predict that's probably where they're going to install some self-serve kiosks or completely are removing that technology to make the front gate entrance a lot larger to allow a lot more guests in, maybe add some self-serve kiosks to get in as well. So that's what I'm hoping for. Again, no information yet. Maybe I'll be able to get an answer out of Wonderland soon on that. Concrete or cement has been poured. I keep using the both because I mix them up and I've just given up. Concrete and cement has been poured um, on the front gate building, the merch store, and the queue lines to get through the security booths underneath Leviathan. Um, so that has been done. I thought that was really risky, but I guess with all the cold weather, they wanted to get it done today so it can start curing. So as you can see here, they're covering it because obviously there's not going to be much work going on um, this weekend. They don't work on weekends, but there's not going to be much work going on when it's cold. You can't really pour cement or concrete in negative 10. 
Um, or you can if you buy the more expensive stuff, but the stuff that Wonderland's going to want to use, um, they're not going to do that over the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, when I fly my drone, I could be mistaken, but that's my prediction. Anyways, that's it for a construction update today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend and stay tuned for more videos. I have some really cool stuff lined up. Have a good one, guys. Bye.